So the first thing the robot's got to understand is, what story am I placing? So the maneuver it's doing now is trying to find out where it is. It moves in a T-shaped maneuver. At the end of each um, section, it spins around to have a look and see what the place looks like. In essence, it's looking around to just see if it recognizes where it is. It will do the final section of the T-shaped maneuver coming forward. And you'll note that we don't have the vacuum cleaner on. Again, this is all about being really intelligent with our energy and making sure we don't unnecessarily waste power. When it comes back to the start point, it should switch its vacuum cleaner on because it now knows where it is and it wants to start cleaning. Importantly, if you listen, that's the high power mode. So this is now cleaning, as James requested, in high power mode in this particular area. For those of you who are familiar with 360i, this is the same thing in pattern. It's doing a square spiral. The square spiral is really, really good at making sure we get good, efficient, effective and thorough cleaning. It basically makes sure that the robot doesn't keep going over the same area many, many times. You can also see here our object avoidance sensor is doing a very good job of avoiding hitting um, the blitz underneath the kitchen, but also getting very close with our full width brush bar producing fantastic clean. So as the robot comes back, it's now beginning to get into a mode where James placed the zones down. So whilst on this screen it maintains high power mode, what we'll see the next time it comes around is hopefully we'll see that the power drops. So it's now heading back towards that threshold. Now, one of the things that's really important to note here is the product um, doesn't know anything about the carpet. That's not what it's using, the carpet and the hardware to change its power. It's based on how accurately James placed the line on the map. And there you go. So that's now in low power mode. So it's switched down based on what James has requested it to do. This is a really lovely illustration of the fact that the user now has the ability to 